Hey guys, so today we're gonna flush the radiator, so we're gonna change the coolant. Um, we're gonna attempt to, I guess, burp the Mustang GT. Haven't done this before, I'm brand new. I watched a video, of course, on YouTube, and so we're gonna get started. I bought this little kit that goes into the radiator, and basically um, you fill it full of coolant, um, and then you run the car and you let it run for 10 or 15 minutes, you get it up to temperature, and then it will start burping, and you'll see bubbles come out of it. So then you can use a stopper to close it and then you're good to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is drain the coolant out of the system and then I'm gonna fill it up with distilled water, a couple gallons, I guess at least, and then run it for maybe 10 minutes or so, let it all circulate through the system, drain that, and then I'll fill it full of, full of coolant and burp it. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm underneath the car and you see that there is kind of a little knob right there with a couple of little flies on them, fly wheels on them. We're gonna twist that counterclockwise, should be lefty-loosey, righty-tighty, and that should open up, and fluid should then start draining from underneath the car. Not turning. All right. Okay, so I successfully was able to open that up. We got our coolant drained out of the system. We got the drain plug um, screwed back in, and now what I'm going to do is put in a couple of gallons of distilled water and then just run the car for maybe 10 minutes or so. Let that water all circulate around, try to clean everything up. Um, and then we'll drain again. Oh, I think we're supposed to let it cool down for a little while. I'm going to get on YouTube real quick after I put it in there. Okay, so um, I got my radiator open. Um, I'm going to actually use my funnel since I spent all that money. I got my distilled water. Put a, a gallon of distilled water in there. I'm getting a little leaking. Wasn't happening before. Maybe it was just when I was pouring the water in there, I hope. Another gallon of distilled water. That's kind of scary. That's the issue is it just doesn't have a real tight seal as it's going in there. Yeah, that's it. It's just leaking out over the top here. So that's no big deal. I think it's getting kind of close to filling up. Good gallon. Only a gallon and a half in there. We'll call that done. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and run it for about 10 minutes or so, let it clean itself out. I'm probably just gonna have it let it sit for a little while, because um, it's gonna be at temp. It's gonna take a while to cool down. So let it cool all down, and then I'll drain it tomorrow, and then uh, uh, and top it off and uh, burp it basically with the with the tools I have. Okay guys, so we're gonna let it run and we'll see you tomorrow when we're going to drain the distilled water from the system and then we'll fill it back up and burp it and hopefully we'll be good to go. All right guys, it's the next day and now we need to drain the water of the reservoir of the coolant system. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started and get that all drained out and then we'll fill it up. So I'm not sure if this is gonna give us any sort of better image, but that's the drain plug right there. And it has uh, basically a twist knob. It was really difficult for me uh, to get that off initially. Somebody had really tightened it. It's difficult to get your arm in there in your hands and to twist it. And the only way I was able to do it really was with my left hand. So my left hand isn't as strong as my right anyway. But um, let's go ahead and get my left hand in there and I'll get my drain pan going. Won't be as difficult this time. Twist that off and there it goes. It's not draining out very quickly because I don't have, I guess you need to open the radiator cap for it to um, really drain out the way it's supposed to. Okay, there it goes. All right, so it looks like pretty much most of the fluid is drained out of there, so I'm gonna go ahead and button it up. Okay, it seems like that's pretty tight. All right, so now we're gonna use our handy dandy uh, filler tube, which is the adapter for the Ford. It's medium size, and you wanna put the rubber piece, of course, in the radiator. Put that in there. Okay, then, you got the cap, which then goes over the top of that and secures it. You just put this guy in that hole. And it should be nice and tight. So 
far as I could tell, get it in there. And then what you do is you fill it up and you're supposed to get it to about one third um, when it gets, gets to the top of there. So you probably stop filling it right about there. And then you start your car and you let it burp. And you need to do a 50-50 mixture of coolant and distilled water. Okay, so I've got my two gallons. I've got two gallons of a 50-50 mix. How much of this it takes. So supposedly this takes 2.9 gallons. Let's see, this is two gallons of a 50-50 mix. Well, it looks like it's not a perfect seal. There's a little bit of leaking. I don't know if that's going to affect its ability to burp. Okay, we had a little panic there. Um, so I thought I used the right adapter um, into the um, the radiator. But it, when I was putting it in, it just was leaking out the side. So I got a different adapter, which I didn't think fit, but I pushed it in there. Um, and that formed a seal, it looks like. So um, I think it's working now. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the car a start, let her warm up, and hopefully I'll start getting some burping. Okay, the car is started. Um, and it's not leaking, so it's keeping that, keeping that seal. And I saw some bubbles come out initially and just a second ago but supposedly you won't really start seeing bubbles until the um, thermostat turns on and, and it starts really getting the fluid in the system so we'll see and if that happens I'll turn it back on. All right so it's been about seven minutes or so and you still have no bubbling. I'm supposed to wait till this starts bubbling and it's not bubbling yet. Oh, now it's going down. Whoa, look at that. So it's still bubbling. Um, I added some more cooling. But it was bubbling like crazy, so it raised way up. It got all over the car. It said only to fill one third of the way. Um, maybe they should adjust that because it got all over the place, but the bubbling is now stopped. So that's pretty exciting. So it must be up the temp, it raised, it bubbled like crazy, and now it stopped bubbling, and so I think we're good. Uh oh, it's bubbling more. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep going until it stops bubbling. We just went to Yellowstone, so this is kind of like, um, like the bubbling stuff in Yellowstone. <laughs> Okay, the thermostat just turned on again, but it's, it's still bubbling. So I don't know when it is that I'm supposed to stop doing this. I'm assuming it was when it stopped bubbling, but it's still going. I did make some more cooling. Now it's going down again. Okay, so after it went down again and I added more coolant, it looks like a lot of the bubbling is starting to stop. So I'm going to call this done. It's really not bubbling anymore. So I'm going to put the stopper on it. Be careful because it's probably pretty hot. Put that in there. And seal it up. Push on it really hard. So I got that out. It didn't work ideal, but I think it did its job getting all the air out of the system. This cap that they give you, it's kind of tricky in getting off. Okay, there's that. Put the radiator cap back on and I think we can take it for a little spin. It's a reservoir tank on the radiator. They say it's not supposed to be build, filled more than 30%, but I see a fill line on there, but I think it's supposed to fill it up cold. I'm gonna drive it around a little bit and then I'm gonna let it 
cool down and then I'm gonna come back and see where that line is and then I'm gonna fill that up to the cold line. It's been about a month since I flushed the cooling system on my 1994 Mustang GT. And I've gotta say, everything is working great. The car actually used to run a little bit hot, but now it's like really cool as a cucumber. I'll put a link to the burping funnel that I used in the description of this video, but this funnel and the procedure should work on most cars. I sincerely hope this video has helped someone, and if so, please like it, as that really helps my channel. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any of the content.